Good morning everybody. We have got a busy day today. It is Tuesday and today I am going to be sorting my life out a little bit. I have just got a lot of organisational stuff to be getting on with before tomorrow. We've got a very fun week. By the way, I'm still not over this. This is insane. Charlotte Tilbury Love Frequency is coming out soon. It's so hard for me to say Love Frequency without like stumbling. Love this one so much. Also Joyphoria love this is gonna get so fingerprinty so fast but the bottle is stunning this is summer in a bottle and there's the red one i can't remember what it's called but it's so nice i need the red one and i also need the purple one i love the green one as well the only one in the range that i'm not like 100 percent on is the blue one and that's just because it's quite like citrusy it's very beachy it's not what i would normally gravitate towards but it's still such a lovely fragrance all of them are so good apparently charlotte wears them all i don't know if i'm allowed to tell you that I don't know but it is rumored allegedly she wears them all all at once some days maybe not all the time but someone told me that she wears them all at once and what a sleigh i love that anyway i'm wearing love frequency today i wear this most days at the moment it's so nice it's just so girly and lovely and rosy but like not old lady rosy like it's gorgeous i love it's got that kind of killian feel to it but anyway that is not what we were talking about i need to organize myself today for some shoots that i have coming up because this is basically my only chill week that i have now for a very long time which is really exciting but also i'm slightly nervous because i don't have my shoes together so that is what we're going to be doing today we're going to london tomorrow which i'm really looking forward to so i have two shoots that i need to organize myself for today and i'm really excited to say that both of them are bridal related which is just my favorite topic bridal dressing is my favorite topic my wedding not so much like people ask me about my wedding and I'm immediately stressed. I don't love talking about my wedding. <laughs> it's probably one of the few things I don't enjoy talking about at all. It's up there with taxes and VAT for me, if I'm very honest. So my wedding, not my favorite topic. My hen, a much more fun topic. It stopped stressing me out now, so I feel good about that. And bridal dressing is probably top of the list. Like I love all things bridal dressing. Also because people can't ask me about my wedding dress. So we get to talk about like things surrounding it. That's the one part of the wedding where people can't be really invasive and I, <laughs> I love that. So we get to have lots of hypothetical conversations or like other things like what I'm going to wear for shoots and I love that. Anyway, this is probably a weird ramble that you didn't need to know but yeah, just in case anyone's wondering. If you want to stress me out in 10 seconds or less, ask me about my wedding. So in the spirit of bridal dressing, I have done my makeup today very on theme, like a low key natural, natural glam. We love a soft glam. So yeah, I need to get trying on some outfits. I need to pull shoes i need to pick dresses i need to pick which dresses for which shoot as well because i don't know if i'm going to be allowed to reuse for each one so we're going to have a try on i'm really excited to try everything on and i also have some jewelry to show you that i got sent from monica vinader side note this video is going to contain a paid for integrated partnership with monica vinader this is so hard by the way guys i have been a bit coldy for the past couple of days it's so hard for me to say certain things <laughs> So if I at times just sound really weird or I sound like I can't speak, it's actually because I can't. But anyway, this video is partially sponsored by Monica Vinader, a brand that I love and have just been wearing for years and years. So we can see if some of that works into these looks as well. So let's get unboxing. Okay, so the first dress that I picked up is from SLA. This dress looks so Stunning. I was really excited about this because it doesn't look too long and I do struggle with skater style dresses because if they are too long it tends to make me look like I'm playing dress up rather than actually wearing the dress but the length on this looked so good. I think if you are average height or above this will be a short dress but on me hopefully it will just look like it actually fits me i got it in an extra small i'm in between so i'm hoping the sizing is okay but i thought it would be better to go for smaller rather than larger because then my chest is just really not going to fill it and it's just not it's not going to look right so i'll take not being able to breathe if it means it actually just looks nice and fitted as much as these are for photo shoots and we can clip me in i purchased that and i would love to be able to re-wear it and it actually fit really well so we'll try everything on in a minute by the way and then i have stuff from house of c so I think everything is from their new collection, which is so fun. The most gorgeous embroidery anglaise. I think that's how you say it. Skater style mini dress. Oh, sorry, the light. You have to forgive me for the lighting. It is spring. Spring has sprung 
and we love that but it now means that the sun is coming in and out behind the clouds and the clouds are moving at like 100 miles an hour and it's just i have no control over the lighting anymore just know that anyway gorgeous brodery anglaise skater mini dress this is the worst day to be showing white on camera oh so nice and hopefully this will be a good length for me as well it's got a little petticoat underneath which i think should give it a really nice shape a little bit of boning and structuring but nothing too crazy going on around here the sla one is very like corseted boned no, not corseted but like it's got a lot of boning and a lot of structure whereas this is much more sweet and summery i think this would be really fun with a pair of cowboy boots it is almost cowboy boot season again guys i'm so excited some of you are going to be really mad about that but i love them then we have a top and skirt which are in this lovely vintage cream which i have another dress from house of cb in this tone and i think it works really well on my skin tone this has a very sweet floral pattern on it and then when the skirt drops it's just plain and this is the top this I think would be so nice just in general, not even for bridal. This would just be really nice with a pair of jeans. In terms of sizing, I got these in a small. This dress in a small as well. So hopefully that fits okay. Those are the dresses I've picked up and then I'm going to reuse other dresses that I already own as well. There's two shoots, so we're going to need quite a few dresses. I don't know if I'll need more, but I thought I'd start with less. So we can try those on and then let's see the more definitive pieces. Oh my gosh, there's so many things. <sighs> there is more. Oh my god, there's more. There's more and more. There's, oh my god. Oh, oh my god, they spoil me so much. This is the biggest Monica Vinader box I have ever seen. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Oh, oh my god. I think I might have just died and gone to heaven. I think I'm going to cry. I actually think I'm gonna cry. Wow. Oh my god. So I think this is the diamond tennis necklace. You know when you just have to immediately put something on? Oh my gosh. This is the most gorgeous gift. Thank you so much to the Monica Vineta team. I'm trying not to flash you because I'm actually not wearing anything under this. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry that all I can say is, oh my gosh. That is so beautiful. Wow. This needs to make it into a shoot. So anyway, okay, let's open some more things. That is the best first box to open. Oh, oh my gosh. I, all I can say is, oh my gosh. That is a stunning choker. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> I just want to put everything on. I'll show you them styled up. I can't put everything on immediately. And there are also matching earrings you know i'm gonna get so much wear out of these these are amazing i love a statement earring so lovely no this ring matches the necklace oh stop that is amazing and so timeless wow this other ring i've got on my finger is from monica vinader by the way so beautiful it even looks nice on this hand and nothing tends to go with my engagement ring so that's so perfect does it fit on my thumb oh yeah wow oh my god yes i love a thumb ring i just love a cool thumb ring this is the best ring it has so much like flexibility to it as well so hopefully it will just not get stuck on my finger in the warmer months because my hands swell and unswell so much then we have you know I love a heart. I can't resist a tiny heart. Oh my God. You know it, I know it. Monica Vinader know it. That's so nice. Gorgeous. Perfect. I have the best collection of heart necklaces right now. And then we have some earrings. It's tiny hearts. It's tiny hearts. Oh my God. Oh, they're gonna be so nice. I think if you don't want anything too wild in terms of jewelry on your wedding day, tiny hearts like this are just so perfect tiny hearts and a tiny heart necklace are just so perfect you could also go diamonds but if you didn't want anything too sparkly like i have quite a few friends that are just like not sparkly girls i think tiny hearts is perfect this also this is really really cute if you are not sure on a bridal necklace these also just make perfect gifts but seeing as we're talking about bridal look at this 
it's a tiny R. It's a tiny R in like a 20s style like text font, whatever you want to call it. Oh my god, I love. I never ever thought I would be this kind of girl that would wear like an initial ever again as a 30 something year old woman. I can't resist. I love it. That is so beautiful, so special, so delicate. Like, look at that chain, it's so fine. This could actually be really sweet layered with this necklace as well. Oh, I love. Shrimperella, is that you? <laughs> that was the happiest little run I've ever seen. <laughs> Hello, how are you today? You causing trouble? She's such a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Do you know it's your birthday? Ah, the sweet, sweet sounds of my fiance hoovering. At a random point in the day. Oh, oh, look at you. Look at you. Do you know it's your birthday soon? Do you know? You guys, she's gonna be 10 next month. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I need to stop growing up. You're good, your dad will bake you a birthday cake. I'm sure of it. Sometimes I think we should just scrap half the vlog and have shrimp cam and like stick a camera to her. See what she gets up to. This girl loves the sofa. It would not be that interesting in all, in all fairness. What is he doing? Are you bring the whole house? Oh, it's scary. <laughs> Are you okay? Well, I think you're gonna be there with the camera in my face. You bring it at a random point in the morning. I've got guests. That's standard, isn't it? Shrimpy. Being for a guest <laughs> Are you the guest? I am the best. We had a brief matcha break whilst Ryan made some noise in the house. And now I'm back, where were we? I did something slightly psychotic. We're having a break from the styling here. Just while I tell you this, you know I love the Blank Street white chocolate matcha. I actually watched them like a hawk when they were making this and I took a photo of the syrup that they used in their white chocolate matcha and I bought it for myself. I bought a very expensive syrup. Is it good? Oh my God, yes. Does it taste the same? Yeah, worth it, worth being weird, worth the staff thinking that I'm a little bit crazy watching them like a hawk. It is so good, so, so good. Anyway, these pieces are all so beautiful. I've actually layered, I don't know if you'll even be able to see because it's so tiny. I've layered the R with the tennis necklace and I think it's so beautiful. The thing I love about Monica Vinegar jewelry as well is that all of their pieces, like their sterling silver pieces are 100% recycled and the gold is all 18 karat gold for May, which is just so beautiful and they last so well, but even if they don't, they do this repair and rewear program, repair and rewear, <laughs> which basically allows you to keep your pieces for longer and you buy less and I love that, especially when you're buying for bridal or just special occasion pieces like all of their pieces are so special you'll want to keep them for longer and rewear them over and over again so I love that they do that I'm a big fan of them and their sustainability efforts I also love that all of their packaging is 100% recycled as well they're just they're just the best so thank you to the Monica Vinader team for sending these over I'm honestly dying for this this is such a cute combo I think this would actually be really nice if you had like a more minimal wedding dress and you had this like layered combo on your wedding day i think that would be so beautiful mine sadly is not minimal enough for this but i would 100 percent have gone for this if i had like a really beautiful silky like slip dress i think that would be so perfect i will be wearing this so much in the run-up to my wedding it's so beautiful it's so special oh and i also have a code as well i will pop on screen how you can get 20 percent off on monica vinada it's such a good discount especially if you are shopping for anything bridal related or just a special occasion piece if you wanted to get your hands on these tennis necklace it would be such a good saving but anyway we need to get back to the styling i have actually prepped shoes which will be used for one of the shoots but not the other one because if you have watched a previous vlog you will know that i am designing my own shoes in collaboration with charlotte mills so um one of the shoots might be for them and i'm so excited and then the other shoot i actually can't tell you about yet still very much being told that i am not allowed to tell you that secret so I will be holding on to that for a little bit longer but the secret shoot these shoes will be used on but anyway let's get trying on some dresses this is the SLA lace mini dress this is slightly difficult to get yourself into I got there in the end I am proud that I got there in the end the trick is to put it on backwards do the hook up twist it around and then try and shimmy that zip up it's actually quite tricky around this seam, but doable. I did get there in the end. You just need to know the technique. I absolutely love it. It's so beautiful. It's also very versatile. I think all of the pairs of shoes that I got out as potentials for styling with the pieces 
all work with this dress so this dress is definitely going to be one that i use for my shoe shoot i think and obviously it's nice and short as well we get a lot of leg which is perfect for when you're shooting shoes so these are a pair of charlotte mills shoes these are the mia shoes for jewelry i have the heart studs which I love just so sweet and then the tennis necklace again I do not want to take this off and it's layered this time with the heart necklace you can leave it on its own but I just thought the layering I don't normally layer necklaces ever but I actually really like this and then I've got the matching ring to go with the necklace my by the way my <laughs> engagement ring is just spinning at the moment my hands are apparently very cold today so if it is wonky just do excuse me and make a note to the girlies that haven't got engaged yet and haven't picked your rings out yet or someone hasn't bought them make a note tell your boyfriends thin bands actually they look nice but they're so annoying my ring does not stay sorry we just need to segue like even when it's not cold it just spins around and this is why like so many of you have asked me why I am wearing a wedding band I'm trying to keep it higher up on my hands so that it doesn't spend literally all the live long day spinning around <sighs> And it still does so just a little bit less so yeah that is my mini run of the day do not go for a mega thin band because the weight just isn't right and the ring will spend its life just spinning around i've actually seen so many people that have had their band like change their rings or have that had their bands like thickened and i get it i get it because i really can't have this made any smaller it won't fit over my knuckle because my knuckles are bigger than my the base of my finger like look at it it's just sat on its side and also when i have kids my hands are going to change size so like am i just going to get this resized to never be able to take it off like once it's on it will never come off like look Anyway, mini rant over. That is the jewellery that I am wearing with this dress. I actually don't want to take this dress off. It's so nice. The only thing I would say is I could have lived... <laughs> Sorry. The only thing I would say is I could have lived without the sequins on it. I'm not in love with that choice. But actually they're quite subtle and other than that it's perfect. This summer dress is so sweet i love it it fits really well i would say after trying this on like this is a small i would say sla has quite generous sizing so obviously got that one in an extra small and it fits like almost exactly the same as this house of cb one so in terms of sizing for reference i border like a six and an eight so keep in mind if you purchase any of these like the sla sizing and the house of cb sizing quite different this dress i think looks much better with more minimal jewelry which is good to know and in terms of shoes i'm really struggling to pick a shoe i think it actually looks better with more of a relaxed shoe but in terms of this shoe i can't go like for a summer sandal so i'm not really sure which one to go for i'm either thinking the chanel perspex sandals or i've got these dior i can't remember what these are called the slingbacks in a nude this dress definitely suits a nude shoe more than a white shoe i did try these flowery ones on they just, it looked fine, it just looked a bit too done, like a bit too perfect and it just, I just wasn't really vibing with it. Whereas I think the nude shoe feels a bit more relaxed and a little bit less done, so I'm thinking maybe that. Sadly, I don't think they make these anymore, which is so sad because they are stunning. I'm definitely going to be using this one though, I think it's such a perfect vibe for one of the brands, so yeah, this one's definitely a keep. Oh, and for the jewellery, I went for the heart earrings again and just the tiny dainty r necklace i really think like i said this dress doesn't need anything too crazy going on at the neckline because it's already got such a beautiful neckline so it's actually a really nice one if you prefer daintier jewelry this option is not showing a lot of legs so it probably won't be an option for my charlotte mills shoot however the other shoot i think this is like very on brand for them things i'm not sure if i should be telling you yeah i love it i think it's so nice it's giving like kind of vintagey vibes and i think it works really nicely with like interestingly chunkier jewelry even though there's so much going on i really like it i think especially because there's a lot of texture and slight vintage vibe to this choker <laughs> Hello, Shrimpy. and to the earrings i think it works really well i actually love this i'm probably going to take this look away with us when we go away very soon for a very exciting little trip yeah i really like this combo it's very summery this would actually be a really nice option for a hen if you had more of a like neutrals theme or anything like that i shockingly do not have a neutrals theme am i feeling okay i'm not sure but yeah i love it it's giving summer it's so nice i love this vintage cream tone on me i think it just works really nicely with my skin tone but i think i'm gonna get a lot of 
of wear out of this top to be honest over the summer it's so nice it does run a little bit big i would say you can size down in it i've got i don't know if you'll be able to see i've got a little bit of material at the back and i just think it would be perfect if it was just you probably won't even be able to tell but it is just like a little bit big on the waist but for the shoot we can clamp it and for me taking it on vacay i am probably gonna have drunk so many mugs that i will fill it out so it's all good also can we take a moment for the bum on this because the peplum plus the fitted skirt is i am not mad about this and there was me thinking that i might not have enough i've got five looks for each shoot the other ones are up here hanging already i kind of can't believe i woke up this morning thinking that i would need more things <laughs> also how cute does the jewelry look i actually really like it just with an everyday outfit hi do excuse me i've been filming a hair tutorial and then i immediately wanted to be out of my jeans as soon as i was done this evening so i i look like my head does not belong on my body right now i'm just about to make a spicy tomato pasta for this evening i literally am gonna like roast this pepper chop it up blend it up with some chopped tomatoes that's the word gonna put some mushrooms probably gonna add like a little bit of like a cheesy creaminess to this to kind of lighten it up a little bit a few jalapenos that kind of thing i'm excited hopefully we've got enough rigatoni because this is that is the pasta that is essential to this situation oh also i've got some new bits from lancome number one a body butter which I will try, but it may have to go to my sister-in-law because I am such a religious non-user of body butters that it is wasteful for me to even attempt to keep them. So we might have to, I might share this with my sister-in-law. Also have new Lancome lipsticks, which I am so excited about. As you all know, there's one in particular that I love from them. It's basically sold out all the time, but they have some new launches and look at how pretty this is. Like, isn't that such a nice, pink that's so nice wow that is lovely that's like a dark nude but not too dark very happy with that what else have we got this is the shade hush hush oh my god that's such a cute pink i have too much lipstick on at this point to put on another one but we we shall test maybe not tomorrow because that this does not go with my outfit tomorrow. We shall test at some point. There's a few other colors, but they're looking like they're not my vibe. Are we seeing? Yeah, not my vibe. But these two, very happy. Love those, thank you Lancome. Anyway, let's make some pasta. <laughs> Good morning. How nice is the sun? Oh, this is the outside of my house now, by the way. I never got to show you. That's what it looks like. Oh my god, I just went for the nicest long beach walk with Nala. It just feels so good to finally like be outside getting vitamin D. I also feel like I haven't vlogged outside in a million years. Anyway, I did not show you my dinner the other night because it looked gross. <laughs> Tasted alright though. I had way too much pasta and garlic bread though and my stomach hurt so much. It was bad choices. Miss Shrimparella is sunbathing. Do you enjoy your walkies? No. She hates going outside. And I've just been checking on the veggies this is more ryan's veg patch this year than it is mine but everything in this is still approved by me because we like to make sure we eat everything we grow in the veg patch so we've got loads of different varieties of tomatoes this year we did a couple last year but now this year we've got so many so like some of them are red tomatoes some of them are like chocolate giant tomatoes like a brown tomato some of them are like a ribbed red giant tomato and then we've got different types of pepper and chili ryan has made a note of which is which so that we don't eat the wrong thing and burn our faces off but yeah he was like you have to have like a jalapeno it's so you and i was like oh this is cute i love this then we have one tiny bit of garlic garlic chive oregano because we never buy oregano our shop doesn't stock it so let's grow it and then we have cavolo nero like black kale on the end because this bit gets a bit less light throughout the day but that kind of thing grows phenomenally down here also my olive trees are now taller than i am <laughs> they are out of control oh she has moved to the shade what are you doing when you go i'm just finishing my makeup for the day i'm actually having dinner with my friend tonight i think i'm gonna cook us a lasagna i'm really in the mood for that and i know she'll love it too i wanted to look cute for her so i'm really loving this lip liner at the moment it's the charlotte tilbury lip cheat in the shade hollywood honey it's very similar to that kkw liner that i 
like old KKW that I really liked. It's quite a warm brownie tone, but it blurs out really nicely if you blend it with your finger. So I've just got a little bit of that and then the remains of the Dior lip oil, which I just put on this morning before I went for a walk. I do have some new things though in the makeup area. I mean, there's many new things, but ones that I used this morning. I used the Dior Forever Glow Star Filter foundation this is so nice they sent me shade two which is slightly lighter than i would normally go however it's actually perfect because i haven't tanned in god how long has it been since before i went to marbella so it actually matches my face to my body really nicely and then i've also been using the dior forever glow maximizer sorry my voice my voice my throat my everything is still not 100 i actually feel like i can't talk properly like i was in london yesterday we, we skipped today by the way because i completely forgot to pick up my camera before I went to London. I was at events in a meeting yesterday and I just was so aware that I didn't sound right and that I wasn't able to speak properly. I'm <laughs> I'm just that congested. So anyway, gross, but I just need to address it so that I can move forward without feeling anxious that you guys are watching me thinking what the hell is wrong with her voice. Moving on, the Dior Forever Glow Maximizer. Side note, does anyone remember the Dior was it the maximizer is that what it was called that that glowy product that was like the bb cream that i used to literally just slap on my face this foundation is actually very 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 similar like same really lightweight lovely glowy coverage i put it on my face and i was like Oof, that that is a new favorite for me and this highlighter is just really beautiful as well and just sits on top of the cheeks so beautifully i literally could just rub that all over my face quite happily they do them in a few different shades they've got these two as well so they've got peachy rosy and gold and i like gold and the foundation is shade two yeah shade two i don't know if there are half shades or there's like a zero point something because that should not i should not be a shade two normally i'm like in the three to five sometimes six if it's a charlotte tilbury foundation range so i'm not sure what the shade range is like on the dior foundation but i would assume that it would be good though because in recent years they have been very good with their foundation shades so i would be surprised if that is if it goes two and then one and then just stops but in terms of the consistency and the lightweight feeling and the blendability it's stunning it also has a good coverage despite being really light at the same time like it just blurred over i've got like spots that are on my cheek at the moment it blurred over them really beautifully i also got this yesterday at an event with armani it's the prisma glass lip oil in the shade o2 i actually got a few shades there's a red and a clear so sunny in here today wow and then there's a nudie color which is shade 07 i actually haven't had a chance to try them yet and i really want to try this one like i said shade o2 it looks like a really beautiful like summery pink i don't know if you'll be able to really tell because it's subtle but it's so nice oh my god that's so nice that is the most beautiful summery pink but it's not too pink i was really scared when i first saw the lip oil in the tube i was like Oof, that is not gonna look good on me but actually it's so nice and sheer i'm excited to try more of these i'm actually now really excited to try this is a red it doesn't there we go it doesn't look like a red in the sun i am really excited to see what this looks like shall we test let's test i love the fact that they do a clear as well that does not happen often enough apparently you can use these on your skin as well oh my god this is giving like watermelon so i already have one on i feel like they have a slight tingle to them oh that's so nice so yeah i already have one on so i don't know if it's like blending into that a little bit but this is the pinky summer gloss of my dreams wow what shade is this shade Oh four. I love it when I find new lip products that I love. Do you know what? I rarely change my makeup routine apart from my lip products. I am obsessed with lip products. I have, I can't even tell you how many like pinky balms I have. Like I have so many lip products, like lip product, lip products, <laughs> four lip products there, three here, another one here. <laughs> and actually this is what I wanted the Tower 28 balm to be. The Tower 28 balm is slightly too blue toned and also at the same time too sheer i would have preferred it to have been slightly warmer and just a little bit more pigmented and less sticky is this not the nicest color wow i'm obsessed my lips are so tingly though <laughs> wow. it's it's getting more intense it's giving like i hit my funny bone but on my mouth my one question is obviously you can put it on your face but how does that work if it has the tingly sensation like if i put it on my cheekbones are my cheekbones going to be tingly? Are my cheekbones going to be plumped? 
I might try that. But anyway, that is what is new on my face today. I am loving the glow. Okay, the final dress has arrived for the shoot. I actually forgot about this one because it was being sent in a separate order. Now, I do feel like we have quite a lot of options. However, I was quite excited about this one. I have scissors over here. Why am I trying to make my life harder for myself? I'm very excited because I also sent all of my choices for the shoot that's sooner to the brand and they loved everything. So, very happy with that. Another House of CB number, of course. She's a big one. Wow. Before I show you this one, I do have to say, I was not sure on this at first. However, the more I sit with this, the more it is growing on me. I've paired it with the Monica Vinader gorgeous statement earrings. And then I've just gone for the heart necklace because the matching necklace to these earrings, I just felt like with this neckline, it they didn't work together and it was like cutting off my neck. So I've just gone with just something simple, but that you can still see and that isn't like too discreet. And I think it's perfect. I just love the heart, it's so sweet. Not me trying not to say cute a hundred times in this vlog. I mean, I probably have, but I'm trying you guys, I'm trying. Like I said, this dress is a grower, I think. The creases are starting to drop out, so it is looking better and better the longer I wear it. I wasn't sure on the neckline at first. I don't normally go for a neckline like this. I normally like quite a square neckline, but I love this cut over the hips. I have another dress from House of CB that's in like a vintage cream, more of a square balcony cut neckline, which is stunning, which you will have seen. And I know a lot of you were a big fan of that. I know you all loved the cut over the hips as well. So this has that kind of same cut, but obviously in a white with a very different neckline. It's a halter neck as well. So we've got a gorgeous open back detail. I love the length of it. It will, of course, be shorter on anyone that is above five foot two, but I really like the length of this on me. Sometimes dresses look like they need taking up on me, if you know what I mean. Like there's not enough of the top of the foot showing, whereas I think this is the perfect amount of like the top of the foot and then a tiny bit of ankle. It thankfully hits at the right point instead of just being ever so slightly too long. And I've paired it with the Charlotte Mills Mia shoes, which are just, my favourites, not all of the wrapping, is that right there? Anyway, yeah, I love these shoes so much. They're also so comfortable. I can't wait for you to see mine. It's gonna be literally the best day when I finally get to show you guys them. But anyway, what do we think of the dress? Let me know in the comments. I really like this with the statement earring. I think the two work really well together. Guys, whilst we're on the subject of bridal, look at what has just arrived. It is so nice. This actually smells like lavender like there is actual like dried lavender in the middle of this eye mask that is so nice and so relaxing oh my god these are from elizabeth scarlet such a sweet gift of them they also sent like a little photo album and camera it's just the cutest package such a nice gift from them so thank you so much to the elizabeth scarlet team i actually already have one of their makeup bags you will have seen this in many vlogs this makeup bag right here I love it, I'm obsessed with it. And then the box underneath actually has some secrets in it, Whoop. which is very fun. And you'll see that next month, but yeah. Oh my God. So many fun wedding things are going on at the moment, you guys. Anyway, it's actually now time for a Pilates session before I wrap up for the day. I've done my day completely backwards. I should have put makeup on after Pilates. However, we make mistakes, it's fine. I've popped on my Adenola burgundy set. I love the set so much and I'm gonna do the Pilates class Pilates today because I did not get a workout in at all yesterday. No walk, no workout, no nothing because of London. So we're doing double today to make up for it. Got my weights and my mat. I don't want to speak too soon, but it's starting to feel like tennis weather again. I am so looking forward to the summer just so I can have my hobbies back. That's all I want. I am such a summer hobbies girl. Like everything I love doing needs good weather. So no wonder I get so sad. Like when it's really like January to March, the weather is li the literal worst and I can't do my hobbies. Like I wake up with a craving for tennis like every day. However, this morning I also woke up with a weird craving to go horse riding, which I literally haven't done in like about five years. So I can tell it's that kind of weather that makes me want to be outside. It makes me want to do my weird hobbies that I love doing. On that note, I would actually love to know, this is going to sound so strange, but I would love to know more about you guys and like what your not what your hobbies are that sounds like such a bad like first date question but i would love to know more about you guys i feel like 
because I don't get to meet you guys so much in person anymore, I feel like I know a lot less about you than I used to. Like, I know what ages you are, but like, what do you like? Like, even if it's like my hobbies are literally going to get coffee, like, I want to know that. Is it home interiors? Are you parents? Are you not? Like, I would love to know. Like, is your hobby shopping? I mean, I'm assuming that a lot of our hobbies, if you're here and subscribe to this channel, I'm assuming that a lot of your hobbies are in fact shopping but yeah is it home stuff like are you like where are you at what are you doing in life like because you know what i'm doing in life but like what are you doing in life do you like watching my videos because you're planning a wedding like do you love working out and actually do you miss like the working out content like what what are we doing like where are we at as a communal group where where are we at what are we doing what do we like can someone give me some insight because i feel like i know less than ever before and i feel like the community has changed so much over the years that now i just don't i don't know and i want to know more about you so can you just like introduce yourselves to me because there's so many new peeps as well maybe i should do a video where i'm like i don't know telling you things about me uh, we know enough about me what are your hobbies in all seriousness what are they also if anyone's wondering these are barla bangles i think they're the barla i think that's the oh no i have the gray barla bangles and these are otex bought no idea probably got them off amazon Yeah.